hey everyone so um first and foremost i know that i am recording and driving please do not do what you see me doing this is not right in any type of way i do not promote driving and recording but this is on my heart so let me tell y'all so i'm in church right well first and foremost let me let me let y'all know what i'm trying to do so in miami i in miami in may i am going to miami um it's for one of my friends um bachelorette weekends i'm a um, bridesmaid at her wedding so we're going to miami in may so of course you know i want my body to be snatched okay i want my waist to be snatched and currently right now as you can see I got some rolls going on i got a little pudge i need that gone gone okay so I talked to a personal trainer. I just we just happened to cross paths. I don't know her personally, but we just happened to cross paths, and she was telling me, um, you know, don't start working out yet. Work on your diet first. She said, get rid of salts, get rid of sugars. Start with that. So I said, okay, I'm gonna do that. So I'm trying to work on being disciplined because I know that it's one. That's something that I. That's one area in my life that I need to work on. Being disciplined. So I'm trying to be disciplined. I'm trying to work on that. So I was committed. I wasn't. I was drinking only water. I got rid of juices. She said, "Don't drink any juices um, because they have sugars in them." And I love, love me some juice. Okay. So I was drinking water only. I got rid of the juices. Um, I was reading the back of, you know, the items that I purchased. Um, I don't really snack much, but I did have some chips the other day. And I was reading the nutritional facts on the back of those. Like, you know, really committed. Like, really not wanting a high sugar and salt intake. Um, and by the way, I came across these chips, Cape Cod and um, Miss Vicky's. Well, I don't know. I actually don't know how healthy they are. But I do know the nutritional facts on the back of those chips were way better than you know just your typical doritos and cheetos that i you know would normally have picked up um so and they're so good oh my god they're so good um the jalapeno miss vicky's and i tried the um the mesquite barbecue of the cape cods those were amazing um just a little sidetrack okay let me get back on track so um, you know, I, I'm so serious and I'm so dedicated and I really want this to work. Like I really, I really want this to happen. I'm really dedicated to the results that I'm going to get out of that. Get out of, you know, decreasing my salt and sugar intake. I'm, I'm dedicated, I'm motivated and I'm ready. I'm, I want to see these results. So with that being said, I was in church today and I did not eat breakfast i don't normally eat breakfast um anyway not like that not not on sundays at least i don't normally eat breakfast um but i did not eat breakfast and for some reason today i was so 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 hungry um towards the end of service so i remembered that i had some um some candy in my purse no, I am not a candy eater. Like, I don't like sweets. I don't like, I'm not your typical cupcake and cookie and cake lover. I, that's just not me. I don't really care for that. So, I'm like more of a, like a fruit. I like my sweets when like fruit. Like that. So, um, but me and my mom, we went to the dollar store like a week before. And we just saw some, um, some candies. And I was like... I don't eat candies, but they had the Starburst pack, the Starburst pack, all pink. Let me see if I. Starburst, all pink pack. I've never in my life seen these. There was in the Dollar Tree. I was actually in the Dollar Tree trying to get stuff for my DIY project. And I came across those and I was like really gotta get it got to and i don't even eat sweets like i don't know why i felt the need to even put them in my purse but i did 
I did put them in my purse. Give me a second. My lips are bothering me, so give me a second. I need to put some gloss on them. I'm not, I'm about to go in the house first. I'm not about to go just yet. Cause I just pull up. Okay, I'm back. I had a gloss on my lips. There were the dryness was bothering me. Okay, where was I? Um, yes, I could not pass up those all pink Starbursts. I don't know why. I didn't need it, and I know I didn't need it. And I was in the midst of getting rid of, rid of sugars and salts. Well, I got them anyway. I don't know why I picked them up, but I'm in church. I'm starved. I'm never even this hungry in church. I'm so hungry. And I remember I have these pink starbursts in my purse. So what did I do? What did Brittany do? She reached in her purse. She got the starburst and she ate one. I said, I just need something to fill me up temporarily until I get my meal. I just need something. And so I ate the starburst. After I had that one starburst. Here comes number two. I'm like, all right, I just need another, I need another feel. What I was doing was I was feeding myself with things that I knew I did not need. And one, you you know, we always say just one, just this one time, just to get that edge off, just that one. And then the one turns into two, and then the two turns into three. I had three starbursts. And I know that does not sound like much, but being a person who does not eat sweets, does not eat candy, that was a bit much for me. I never probably would have finished one Starburst, let alone, I probably would have broken it in half, let alone three. I had three whole Starbursts. And I got, after I had those three Starbursts, my stomach began to ache. I started feeling like maybe I shouldn't have ate that. Like I just got a feeling that I never really get. My stomach started hurting because that was not something that, for one, my body was used to. And for two, that was not something my body needed. I needed real substance. I needed real food. And I tried to substitute that real substance and that real food with a temporary satisfaction, with sweets, with something that was not good for my body that I did not need. I say this to say, we do this on a regular basis. Like, almost every day we do this to ourselves. We try to fulfill our bodies temporarily. We, we we say this is just for the moment. You know, I'm not gonna continuously do that. I just need one to get me by. We do this to our bodies. We do this to ourselves on a regular basis. And I'm not talking physically. I'm talking. We do it physically, but more so spiritually. We, what we need is a feel, a a move from God. We need a relationship and a how do I say this? Help me, Lord. We need uh, a we need God. We need God, and we try to we we're empty. We have we need something. We're hungry. We're so hungry for something, and we don't know what we're hungry for. So we try to find those. We try to find something temporary to fill us. We're trying to fill that space, that emptiness that we feel. And we're hungry for it. We need it. We we have an urgency. We have an urge for it. So we feel it. And we don't know what to fill it with. But it's God that we're needing. It's God that we're wanting. We just don't know that. So, and we might know it. We just try to ignore that. 
because I knew I did not need that sugary behind Starburst. I knew that. But I tried to temporarily feel it. I told myself this is just one time. I just need one. I tried to temporarily feel myself to feel that space of hunger. But that's not what I needed. If I would have just been patient enough to wait. If I would have just been patient enough to wait 15, 20 minutes for church to be out and for me to go and get me a meal. If I would have been patient enough to wait, I would have never had to deal with that stomach ache. And sometimes we blame God for things that happens in our lives that doesn't feel good, that gives us discomfort, that we don't like or don't don't feel like we need. We blame God. Why did you let this happen to me? Why me? What did I do? When it's not God, it's you and your disobedience. You knew that you did not need that, but you did it anyway. To fulfill your flesh to fulfill your physical needs when you knew better sometimes we can't blame God sometimes the things that happen to us are because of the decisions that we make most of the things that happens to us are because of what we do because of our decisions our decision-making so I say that to say oh in another point so I had the starburst and I was I guess I was full. My stomach was hurting. Um, and the moment I got into my car, my stomach began to growl again. So we put in our things in our bodies to fulfill us. And we're still left empty at the end of the day. My stomach was still hurting. I mean, my stomach, I was still hungry. I wasn't fulfilled. Because I didn't fill my body with something that I needed. I feel it filled it with something temporarily that I wanted. I didn't fill it with something that was a necessity to me if i'd have just waited those 15 to 20 minutes and i would have got a real meal in i'd have been fulfilled if i if i'd have got something that my body needed some nutritional items that my body needed i would have been fulfilled but because i filled it with something that i did not need i was still left hungry left hurt and hungry still so i say this to say there are things in our lives or things in our, I'm going to say our because I'm included. There are things in our lives that we do to fulfill an empty space in us, whether it be smoking, drinking, shopping. The list goes on. Any, The list goes on. There's so many things that we do where we, we don't need to do it. We're looking for something to fill us and we're looking in the wrong direction i don't know who needs to hear this but you're looking in the wrong direction you need god that's that's the missing piece i promise you whatever you're going through wherever your hurt lies wherever your discouragement lies wherever your pain lies you just need god that's what's needed that's the missing ingredients that's the missing piece smoking is temper smoking will leave you. I'm I'm not speaking I don't want anybody to get me wrong I'm not speaking against marijuana that's a topic for another day that's a subject for another day I'm not gonna get in depth I don't want to argue I'm not here to say let's argue I'm not willing to argue about this but I'm not speaking against marijuana I'm not even speaking against alcohol that's a topic for another day as well we're gonna get to that and I'm not speaking again shopping I'm all for shopping I'm working on the boutique I'm all for shopping but what I'm saying is don't do it for the wrong reasons don't try to find fulfillment in those things because that's not where your fulfillment comes from that's not where your help comes from you need God and so what my goal is on this channel is to help direct you, help guide you in a way that you'll get that fulfillment without having to sacrifice yourself. Without having to sacrifice things that yourself, your money, your time, your energy. You can get those things without having to stress about it, without being depressed about it. We're gonna get there. That's what this channel is for, is to get, is to get us going. So, get us in the right direction. Some people, some people know that they need help, 
but they don't know where to get it from. Some people know that they're going in the right direction, but they don't know how to turn around and go back into the right direction or how to step over and go into the into the path that's meant for them. That's what I am here to help do. And I won't, and I'm not here to do it through me. I'm here to do it through God. I'm here to hear from him what you need to hear in order to go into the right direction. That's what I'm here for. This that's, That is what this channel will be about mainly um it's the help now i'm not perfect i make mistakes you see what i did i make mistakes i'm not perfect in no way shape or form or fashion like it's i'm not and i'm not here to portray myself like i am i fall i fall i fall i fall i've fallen several times and i'm still falling but the main thing is I'm not here to stop you from falling. I'm not here to prevent you from falling. I'm here to help you get up when you do fall because we're gonna fall. It's life. When we're kids and we learn, when we're kids and we're learning to crawl and we're first learning to take those steps, when we first take our steps, our couple of steps, we fall. We take, our, we take two more steps, we fall. We take one step, we fall. As children, if you just watch kids, you learn a lot about yourself, especially your your walk with God like when you're first getting started you learn a lot about yourself when kids start to crawl and they when kids start to walk and stand they fall so many times but they're so determined like kids are motivations like just because a child when a child falls they don't get discouraged and like I'm never gonna try to walk again like bump that I don't feel too many times they get right back up like they do not quit they don't quit and they get it every time they get it every time it's not we're not here to stop you from falling you're not here to not fall even as adults we trip and fall physically a lot we trip and fall all the time we're not all the time. i don't know we trip and fall though as adults we're just because we're we get that balance as a child and we we get it we start walking it doesn't prevent us from falling ever again. But you know how to get back up. You've learned how to get right back up and keep going. And that's where our goal is. is when we fall, to get back up and keep going. So I'm not here to stop us from falling. I fall all the time. But I'm here to help you get back up. So that's what this channel is about. And I'm looking... I'm so looking forward to, you know, helping you guys. And you guys helping me. I'm, I need help too. So... I'm open. I'm open. I'm an open book. I'm open minded. I'm open to new, different perspectives, different views. I'm open to opinions. I'm open. I am not against it at all. I love constructive criticism. If you have anything constructive to tell me, please do. I am not here to think I'm better. I don't think I'm better than anyone or anything like that. We're, I feel like we're all here to help each other. So, in any way that I can help, I'm willing to. And in any way that you guys are willing to help i'm willing to take that in so that's what i'm here for i'm looking forward to it thank you guys so much for tuning in i'm so grateful and i'm so thankful and i'm so blessed to have you be a part of this journey with me and what else can i say like i'm ready i'm excited let's do it and um i'm gonna try to do these videos once a week i'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself to put out a new video every day i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm i'm, I'm not at that point yet but I am, I am um, planning to do one at least once a week. If you guys have any topics or any ideas or any open discussions that you guys want me to talk about or do, please let me know down in the comments below. Please subscribe. Please hit that post notification so you can get a notification as soon as my video drops. You'll be the first to see. Um, and let's do this. I'm, I'm ready. You guys have a blessed. Well, I don't want to be too churchy and too spiritual. I, I hope you guys enjoy this channel. And you guys have a nice day. I will see you soon. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.